Hey, Jim. Hello, Jessica. So my name is Jessica Davis. I'm the editorial director of Channel A to E and MSSP Alert. I'm here with Jim Lippy, CEO of SAS Alerts. Yes. And uh, Jim, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit of about SAS Alerts for people who might not know what it is? Yeah, happy to. The few people. <laughs> yeah. So we are a cloud detection and response platform. So from a cybersecurity perspective, we look at first the configuration in this case of 365 and we look at you know the score the security score associated with that configuration all of the the recommendations associated with that to get it to the ideal state and then the automation in the fortify module which is part of the configuration piece will essentially push those recommended actions across to that single organization or to every organization uh, in MSP's business. So we start there and get the ideal configuration. We monitor the drift associated with that configuration. We look at the real-time user data associated with apps that they might be monitoring for their customers. And then on top of that, we do automated remediation. So it's a customized rules engine that allows you to create if-then statements. Uh, and react to compromises on behalf of their customers uh, in real time. So MSPs are getting alerts all the time, probably from SaaS alerts. Yeah, well, they're able to tweak it and tune it and really make it specific to their business and their customer. And you know, the, what we've been able to do is unify what comes from the actual SaaS account, and then we monitor the RMMs as well. So we're pr able to provide visibility from the account plus the device, which limits the number of actual alerts that someone will get and really just pinpoints on what the MSP needs to react on on behalf of their customer. So there's less alert fatigue then. Exactly. So we're here um, this week at Kaseya Connect. Yes. And you have a big announcement here at the event. Why we don't do. you tell us about that? Yes. So we are launching MSP Shield. It's a new initiative for us and it's really simple. Our goal is to better protect the entire MSP community. We've always allowed our MSP partners to monitor their own SaaS environments for free. The, the, uh, uh, not for re resale Yeah, licenses. not for resale, yep. So NFR licenses, yep. they have their own environment, whether on 365 or they wanted to monitor their RMM or their IT Glue instance, that was all free and that continues to be the case. But it was just for partners that were signed up with us that were using a minimum of 200 to you know, 250 to 500 users. MSP Shield allows us to extend that coverage to any, NS any MSP around the globe that wants to leverage SaaS alerts to protect their environment. So essentially it's free usage of SaaS alerts on their own tenant, their own applications. That can be 365, it can be Google Workspace, Salesforce, Dropbox, Slack, Okta, Duo, whatever RMM they might be using, IT Glue. This is all really simple. The goal is to help make the MSP community more secure. We only sell to MSPs. A thriving, secure MSP community is certainly good for SaaS alerts. I think it's good for everybody else. And so MSP Shield is available to people now up to a year free. And that's what the goal is. That's a pretty generous offer. Um, how come? Why, why are you doing it? Yeah. Well, again, we want to make the community that much more secure. Uh, and we think that you know, certainly the feedback we get from our partners, we have over 1,000 partners at this point, they tell us, all the time, how you know we've been able to help them finding out what's going on in their own environment, their customers' environments. Um, they love the fact that we monitor their RMMs, IT Glue. So we want to make them stronger, more secure. Also, we believe at this point that those MSPs that are educated about what we do and how we do it, and they try it in any capacity, whether it's a trial, a free trial, or they're using it for themselves. We believe that will facilitate more usage of the platform on an ongoing basis. So an MSP that signs up for MS MSP Shield today, they start using it 
a month, two months from now, they're like, you know what? This is a great for us. It'll be great for our customers. Mm -hmm. and at that point, they'll extend and they'll start paying for licenses. Excellent. Um, exciting news for sure. And I know that, that at previous events, we've talked mm -hmm. about other initiatives SAS Alerts has. Mm -hmm. um, one of them is I, I want my SAS Alerts. Yes. Um, SAS Alerts is based on a certain kind of um, integration, a certain kind of API. Can you tell, yeah. tell the audience about that? Absolutely. So the I want my SAS Alerts campaign mm -hmm. was small a in alerts. Um, basically, it was just a play on the fact that we're trying to create awareness with software providers that they need to be putting security logs into their API. A lot of application providers, just software providers out there today, they haven't been putting software, uh, excuse me, security logs into their APIs. We want to create awareness around this so they, and, and basically put them in a position where they should be doing that. So we, you know, to date, we've gotten 550 MSPs to sign the petition wow. uh, and representing over 20,000 small businesses. And you know, we feel by essentially putting pressure on software companies to do this, we can actually get more of that data into APIs so we can track the user behavior associated with these applications and provide better protection you know, to the small businesses using it and certainly allow MSPs to be able to protect and monetize uh, that security. Sounds like a winning proposition. Have you, have you tipped anyone over into um, uh, providing these kinds of logs so far? Yeah, well, look, when we started, you know, the first application we looked at doing was IT Glue. Yeah. Because it's so important for so many MSPs. Sure. And at the time, they didn't have the security logs in their API. We reached out to them, we worked with them, and they were more than happy to work with us on it, uh, which was really successful. And today, I'll be a lot of MSPs monitoring IT glue. The next step was RMM. And a lot of the RMMs, they didn't have this security log data in their APIs at that point. So we worked with each one of them individually to get that data into the API. And now we monitor like 95% of the RMMs that are out there. So important because RMM is like considered a big attack vector, right? It can be, yeah. So what we want to do is provide maximum visibility. So the MSP owner, for most MSP owners, their business represents a majority of their net worth. We want to do everything we can to protect those business owners, therefore protecting their net worth. So being able to essentially lock down threat vectors inside their business only helps, I think, everybody. Sounds good. And I don't know if you want to uh, mention to those uh, uh, any vendors out there that still need to um, uh, add those kinds of logs. Uh, there are definitely some out there. I don't want to, you know. You don't want to name names I don't want to name names today. Okay. But they know who they are. Mm -hmm. And they know that, you know, some of them try to put us into programs and stuff um, that really benefit them. And our position is, look, this isn't about you, you know, it's not about us, this is about the community. And being able to provide this, you know, these logs in the API is just a thing that we should all be focused on for the, for the security of the community. Makes sense. Yeah. Absolutely. Any final thoughts, Jim? Well, first of all, I love the fact that you're highlighting this and we really appreciate that. We think that this is something that every MSP should take advantage of. I mean, it is free for up to a year. Um, and I don't think there's, I can't think of a reason as a former MSP myself, I can't think of a reason not to take advantage of this at this point. So I'm hopeful. Uh, we've gotten a lot of people in, talking to here at Kaseya Connect Global. Uh, when we you know, just started talking about it at the booth, a lot of excitement and and we think that'll be successful. And our goal is, like I said, protect a lot more MSPs. Very good. Um, and where can where can the audience go to get more information about uh, the program? Yeah. So on our website, sasalerts.com. 
Excellent. Thanks so much, Jim, for joining me here today. Thank you, Jessica.